Hi everyone. From some extremely rare subspecies to lions of almost mythical status, here are nine of the most unique lions in the world. Number nine, Barbary lion. Barbary lions, also known as Atlas lions, are the biggest subspecies of lion currently existing in the world. And we're not talking about ligers. These are legitimate lions, and they actually look quite similar to the lions from Disney's The Lion King. Barbary lions have been extinct for quite some time in the wild, but they are still being kept alive in captivity. In 2019, a pair of Barbary lion cubs were born in a zoo in the Czech Republic. This is outstanding because there are really not many of these lions left. They went extinct in the wild back in the 1960s, and there are fewer than 100 still alive in captivity. You can typically tell an adult male Barbary lion because he is absolutely massive. A typical male weighs about 500 pounds or 230 kilograms, and has an extra dark mane. These lions used to roam all the way across northern Africa, from Egypt to Morocco, and if you know anything about the region, that it is an extremely hot and sandy place. It's no wonder they all went extinct. But hey, here's an interesting fact. Barbary lions were used in Roman times to fight against gladiators in the Colosseum, and unfortunately, hunting did contribute to their ultimate extinction. Number eight, black lion. You may have seen images circulating recently online of black lions. These lions are standing in the Sahara looking all majestic and beautiful, and they do look extremely real. However, the sad truth is that the black lion is a myth. Every last image online that you see of a black lion is fake. Black lions absolutely do not exist, and every image you see is a hoax. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but there is no black lion roaming the wilderness. The white lions are 100% real, but the black lions are not. Although theoretically a black lion could exist, no sightings of such an animal have been documented. A blog by Sarah Hartwell reports that in 2008, several black lions were apparently seen roaming the streets near Mpumalanga, South Africa, but government officials didn't find any evidence to confirm these rumours. They believe that people possibly mistook the dark brown spots for black as it was nighttime. The closest thing to a black lion that currently exists is the Ethiopian lion, which boasts a very impressive black mane. In order for any lion to be completely black, it would need to suffer from a condition known as melanism, which involves an abnormal increase in dark pigmentation. This is what accounts for some animals being completely black. Some examples of these animals are squirrels, leopards, jaguars, wolves and panthers. A super cool fact is that the black panther is actually a normal leopard, like those in South America, except that when it is suffering from melania it has more pigmentation and is therefore black. And now for one of the most majestic creatures on the planet. But first, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what your favourite lion is in the comments below. Number 7. White Lion Contrary to popular belief, the white lion is not actually an albino. Neither does the white lion have bleached hair. Instead, the white lion is an extraordinarily unique animal, and something of an anomaly in the animal kingdom. White lions are also under threat of extinction. Unfortunately, they have been technically extinct in the wild for almost 15 years. There is an ongoing battle to ensure the white lions remain in nature. The actual reason for these lions being white is something called leucism. It is a rare mutation in their genes that causes them to have a coat of fur that is anywhere from white to blonde rather than the brownish yellow that we associate with normal lions. If these lions were albinos, it would be a lack of skin pigmentation that makes them white, but this is actually just a mutation that causes their fur to have a different colour. This majestic lion was almost completely exterminated from nature due to trophy hunting. These lions began to be raised in captivity in zoos in the area. It was not only for this reason that the lions were kept in confinement, but it was also ignorance. Conservationists at the time thought that white lions were inferior to other lions and that their appearance could affect their survival in the wild. However, there is no evidence to prove this. The white lions are so strong and they hunt just like their lion brothers. It is even believed that their white fur helps them to catch their prey, as its unusual colour confuses their victims. Definitely it makes them one of the most unique subspecies of lion in the world. If you are anxious to see these beautiful creatures, don't hesitate to visit the Timbavati Game Reserve. Number 6. Liger Hybrid A lot of people don't know that ligers are real animals, but these are not like mythical chimeras, part lion, part snake and part goat. Ligers are the direct result of a male lion breeding with a female tiger. The opposite of a lion is actually known as a tigon, the result of a male tiger mating with a female lion. Strangely enough, both a liger and a tigon will possess features from both parents, making them each incredibly unique. Ligers have a tendency to be larger and heavier than either of their parents. 
Biologists believe that the large size of the Liga is due to a peculiar absence of growth-limiting genes. This means that they are not limited to how large they can grow. A typical Liga can grow to be roughly 10.8 feet or 3 meters in length and over 900 pounds. That's 410 kilograms. However, there have been reports of Ligas that weigh over 2,200 pounds. That's over one ton, though these are unconfirmed. As you can probably imagine, there are no Ligas found in the wild. Lions and tigers can indeed mate, but there is far too much geography that separates them across the world. This is why all known ligers are from breeding in captivity. Despite this, some animal rights organizations see this practice as unethical, as these species often acquire birth defects. In addition, they have interaction problems, since their behavior is a mixture of both species rather than just one. Number five, Hercules. And continuing with the magnificent ligers, there is a particular kitten that has the title of the biggest living cat according to the Guinness World Records. His name is Hercules. Thanks to his unique genes, he is 131 inches or 3.5 meters long. Hercules is incredibly large. He weighs nearly 1,000 pounds, that's 450 kilograms, and eats roughly 30 pounds or 14 kilograms of meat a day. Hercules also has a brother named Sinbad though Hercules is the biggest. His current location is in Myrtle Beach in the United States. Hercules actually belongs to Doc Antle, who you may remember from the hit show Tiger King. And while Hercules is named the largest living cat in the world, he looks pretty for such an incredible beast. You can see photos of this massive liger being bottle fed quite constantly. Hercules is just another example of how large these animals can grow. Ligers can not only grow to be twice the size of their parents, but they also grow to be about 100 times larger than a normal house cat. Now that is one massive kitty. Now for number four. But first, tell me in the comments below, what do you think about these great hybrids? And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number four, Cizanani. Cizanani is one of the most unique lions on the planet. Cizanani was a long time resident of the Manuelletti Game Reserve in the Greater Kruger National Park in South Africa. He was known as a true survivor according to National Geographic and was the most famous lion in all of South Africa. He was born in early 2007 into a pride with roughly 20 other young. And from his birth, Sizanani was an immediate alpha. Attacks on the other herds during 2008 devastated their herd. Many cubs were victims of the attack, as were some adult lionesses. The pride was fragmented and Sizanani and his brother were the only survivors. The first time the brothers were seen together on the Manuelletti was in mid-2012. Sizanani's brother had a very serious hip injury that he sustained for a long time, possibly with Sizanani's help. This is where Sizanani earned his name, which means working together. He was known for disappearing out into the wild for extremely long periods of time, usually in which people would assume he had died, then randomly return after his wanders and lay claim to entire areas as the leader of the pride. This lion was so tough that he even had more than one region. He would fluctuate between homes in different areas of the park and in different regions of South Africa to mate with different females, be the boss of different herds, and just be a general tough guy. He was something of an anomaly in how tough he was, going so far as to roam on his own, and even take down fully grown buffalo all by himself. Unfortunately, Sizanani suffered a hip injury and perished in October of 2017, but he had a solid 10 years of owning the deserts of South Africa. This is definitely a unique lion. Number three, Cape Lion. Cape lions were once some of the most fearsome felines on the planet. They lived on the opposite side of Africa from the Barbary lions, roaming far in the south of South Africa. In fact, this is why they are called Cape lions, since they originated from the Cape of Good Hope. While they no longer exist, as they were sadly hunted and captured to extinction in the 1800s, they were once a very proud and unique race of lions. They are very distinct because of their dark, almost black mane. Their mane also grows longer down their front and beneath their belly, unlike many other types of lions. It's almost like they have a blanket on their belly. The Burnaby lion is generally considered the largest natural lion, but the Cape lion is a close second. There have been encounters with Cape lions before their extinction when males were found to be around 600 pounds, 280 kilograms, which is a significant weight. And if you were wondering why these lions had darker and longer manes, researchers actually believe that the color of a lion's mane is generally influenced by the climate. And so, in places where it is cool and less sunny, manes typically grow darker and longer. If you think lions can only live in the scorching heat of a desert, you're quite wrong. If you want to know more about this species, you can visit some museums that keep skulls and stuffed replicas. Some of these museums are the Natural History Museum in London, the Zoological Museum in Amsterdam, and the Natural History Museum in Paris. So, if you ever visit any of these cities, don't hesitate to stop by. Number 2. Ethiopian Lion 
Ethiopia is one of the most amazing countries on earth. It is home to the Ethiopian lion, which is one of the world's rarest and most unique lions. Why? As recently as 2016, an entire population of Ethiopian lions was discovered in a national park. There are now an estimated 100 to 200 Ethiopian lions living in the northwest of the country, very near to the Sudanese border. In all likelihood, these lions managed to stay alive because of the extreme isolation of the area. Lions may seem abundant because of their frequent appearances in documentaries, but the reality is different. Since 1980, global lion populations are thought to have declined by up to 75%, meaning that there are only about 20,000 of these cats left in the wild. The lions of Ethiopia in particular are intriguing because of their remoteness. It's a three-day journey from civilization to where the lions are. However, this doesn't protect them. Shepherds travel to this area every year to make way for their livestock, and this could put these felines in big trouble. Male Ethiopian lions are not so large or heavy as other lions, but they have a distinctively ferocious look with a bit of blonde hair around their face and then a massive black mane. Quite intimidating. Number 1. Cave Lion Cave lions are the coolest of all lions, and so they have to be number one on the list. You may wonder why he is called the Cave Lion, and no, it was not because he lived there, but because most of his skeletons were found in bear caves. They probably thought it was a good place to hibernate, but it wasn't. Unfortunately, the last of the Eurasian cave lions died about 12,000 years ago, near the end of the last ice age. However, it is still one of the largest lions that ever lived. The only lion larger than the cave lion was the American lion, which is also unfortunately extinct. In fact, if you look at all the extinct lions throughout the past few thousand years, you will find dozens of subspecies. Different types of lions used to roam the earth in the same way different kinds of dogs now roam our streets. In any case, the Eurasian cave lion was still about 10% larger than any modern lion today. We obviously don't have any photos of them, but there have been cave paintings discovered that show what researchers believe are cave lions. They almost look like a wolf and lion hybrid. They usually measured about 7 feet or 2 meters long, not counting the tail, and weighed about 800 pounds, that's 370 kilograms. They had shaggy manes, and they inhabited woodlands and mountains rather than deserts and savannas. Thanks for watching. Which of these lions would you like to see in the wilderness? Tell me in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe too if you haven't already. See you again soon!